Hey everyone, Jai Joy here. So today is Wednesday now, a couple days after what, we got the car on Monday. Um, we rented the car on Monday uh, and, and from budget. And it was quite a nightmare, the process to get the car. As you guys see, I had a little meltdown because I was so frustrated because I brought the wrong ID. We have a couple IDs because we've moved a couple times. Utility bills. Utility bills. Like a power bill. We don't have that. We're traveling. Yeah, we have a weekly. We don't have utility bills. So when I get my um, medical marijuana card, they make you your, you have to, they'll only send it to the address that's on your driver's license. So I've gotten new IDs, but so then I don't, like I have one in each purse, and um, they needed the one that matched the uh, address for the, card and I didn't think about it and we got there. Okay, well then are you just going to credit back the money that you guys charged in my account? Are you kidding? Wait, you're not going to give me my money back? Are you being serious right now? You're taking our money and now you're not going to give us a car. Are you being serious that you guys took our money? Wait, please. No, please call your manager. This is ridiculous they make you do this. I would quit this job immediately. It's like ended up being like $45 to get a $45 card. So we ended up doing that because I was also so irritated with myself for forgetting the wrong ID. Then we come back and the guy doesn't want to give it to us. It was like all this stupid stuff. And we're like, we're married. You see, we're here. We got all these IDs. I mean, we have like, at this point, we have like three or four IDs we brought with different addresses, but they're all valid. You know, they haven't expired. He's all, well, so first I had ordered it online, for, and I spent $45, and they charged me $45. Well, then he said, well, the only thing I could do is I could put it in his name, and then that we could probably let it slide, but I can't do that with your online order. That I can't change. I've done that a lot when I worked in things where you let it slide for certain people, you know? That's just how it goes. Like, uh, you talk to, we were talking to the manager, and they have that ability, and then some people are just such hard asses about things. It's just kind of stupid because you really got to evaluate the situation. You have rules in business, but then you also uh, uh, evaluate what's the best for your customers and for the business. That my wallet has, when I bring the small purse, I don't bring my wallet. The wallet's big for the big purse. So I just bring the couple of things I need and I thought I brought what I needed. You know what I mean? But you don't want to be like pissing off customers a lot of times with silly policies. Joy, it's not a big deal. You forgot the paperwork. We can get in that car another way. I don't know how that would really make a difference this day and age with like, I mean, it's not like they pound on your door for collections. Okay, we gotta get going. We got an Uber coming in five minutes now. Um, we are heading to get a rental car. I'm actually like ecstatic because I haven't driven a car in a really long time and it just, we're gonna get to put all this stuff in storage. And then also, um, I get to drive a car. I haven't driven a car in like two years or something or longer. And maybe even three now. And um, I actually really like driving, but I don't want a car because this is not really the way we are anymore. But this is just going to be a fun change, and we get to put all this stuff in storage. So the guy that was going to help, it was just going to be too late at night and stuff, so we decided um, to just get a rental car. And that would be a lot easier. Because you want to do really late at night, and I want to do in the morning tomorrow and get it all done. <coughs> and also, it'll be really cool to have a car. Maybe we'll even go by the stadium. <sighs> we'll see. Or maybe we'll just do this again before... We leave if it's only, if it's easy. We'll see how easy it is, huh? Man, because if it's easy, it would make more sense to rent a car than do Ubers on really busy days. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because this car rental is supposedly only gonna be $45. That's what we paid already, but it looks like, um, Hold on the card, so I don't know how much that'll be. I know one time it was like $300 when we did, but I think that was for a rental truck. I can't.
can't imagine the car would be as much of a hold. That was when we did the, the, the big old truck, now that I think about it. Let's go in the shade over here. It is, or is it better than me stay in the sun for the light? Stay in the shade for now, it's so hot. I know, it's dang hot. Um, so our Uber is almost here. Let me look at my phone. But, um, oh, okay, we got Oh yeah, we gotta put our masks on. Let's see. Still mask time in Vegas. Let me look at where my Uber is at. Three minutes away. So, oh yeah, so that's what I'll be talking about. So, I, I picked the Uber and then I said, oh, we're at the entrance off of Agate. So I put we, because it's two of us, and he's, he said, three person maximum, which I thought was kind of like a rude way to already start off the thing, because I'm like, well, there's only two of us. But I mean, I think most people would know, like, because how big are cars? You would assume the a car that could come could be only a five-seater. So how many people are you really going to be having to try to scram? I know some people do that in Vegas, but it's like, that's a rare thing, and especially at this time of night like six o'clock um you know 6 30 p.m to be saying like like it's already kind of like yelling at your passengers for no reason when we don't have we have two people you know it's just kind of unnecessary and it's just kind of the attitude here in vegas is like a lot of scolding i guess we're at the airport so i guess we're at the airport <laughs> i don't know where the thing is but this is where it was Oh, rent-a-car. Oh, this is it. Okay. This is the rent-a-car center. I thought this was the airport. Look at this. That's confusing. I didn't know. But it's like the rent-a-car center. I didn't realize that. Here you go. See? So you come in here. I thought we were at the airport. I was so confused. I thought we were at the airport for a second. I was so confused. Uh, I feeling like, oh, dude. So we're going to budget car rental. I just, oh look at this guy's got a surfboard. This guy's got a surfboard with him. That's something to travel with that thing. That's a doozy to travel with. Man, that's a doozy. That's a doozy to travel with. Yeah, that's pretty cool though. All right. Oh, here we go. So, oh. Oh, okay. It's all the different places. This is cool. Oh, yeah. Look at budget. They ain't got a lot of people. That's... <laughs> we picked the right one. <laughs> I like budget. We used budget when we moved before. They had the cheapest usually. But I didn't even check the rates. I just went with them. Because they were the cheapest in the past. I've been happy with them. Okay. Uh, all right. Where are the blue lights? Uh, come to me. Okay, he's up over here. Hello. Hi. I just did a rental. Let me get my confirmation. No, no, yeah, um, I think. Yeah, they're uh, like. US 6. Yes. Okay. Um, and the um, Now the card will be on my husband's name. So, what does that mean? Huh? And he can be the driver if that's an issue. I just put it under my name. What? Under two utilities? We have more line. Yeah, we have a weekly. I don't have utilities. What about a cell phone bill? You have bank statements. But we don't have those at all. Like, we live in weekly. Those we don't have what those ever. Do what do you no, do but I mean, we, well, what I'm saying is that we don't have that. Our company 
where we live, they pay that. We don't get those at all. So we'd never have that available. Is there any way we could speak to anyone? Because, I mean, we live in a... Well, they're saying since we don't have um, utility bills, but we live in a weekly, they don't have utility bills. So what you have to stop saying about travelers, that's not the point. It, if we live in a weekly, we don't have utility bills. So, But even if you're not a traveler, if you live in a weekly, like... No, but I'm saying that he knows we're locals. I'm saying we live in a weekly. We're not travelers, so I'm saying that. I'm saying we live in a weekly, but that's... If there's no utility bill, how is that our fault that we can't... So I don't... So I was saying stop saying... Like, yeah. Okay, well, let's just ask him. See if there's any other phone. I guess we'll have to go home and get it and come back because... No, there's no going home. We don't have what they're asking for. Do you understand? They're asking for a utility bill. No, he's saying only a... Why are we talking to the manager then? Because that's ridiculous. Well, we don't have that. You need to tell them that we can... You, you got to tell them the options. Give him a bank statement. I know, but the manager, when he comes, we're going to talk to him. He's saying all that they'll accept is a utility bill. We don't have a utility bill. So what's the manager going to say? I don't know. I mean, that's their policy. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to have some sort of... No, we don't have a car. That's where we're renting. Okay, well then, are you just going to credit back the money that you guys charged in my account? Because I did this online, they already charged my account. Are you kidding? Wait, you're not going to give me my money back? Are you being serious right now? You're taking our money, and now you're not going to give us a car. Are you being serious that you guys took our money? Like rental. Wait, please. No, please call your manager. Please. Ridiculous they make you do this. I would quit this job immediately. Stop, stop for a second. No, but this is ridiculous. They took our money. Look at this place. This is ridiculous. Only in Vegas. That's a Vegas question. They know people in the weekly. This is a we want our money back. Sir, sir, you guys charged my card. You charged my card. Which I, sure. Well, we're documenting this because we, we document we our lives. Film yeah, we're, we're filming ourselves. We're filming ourselves. Okay, but please stop. No, we live, we are bloggers, and this is what we do. We blog. Okay. 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 He's filming him. He's filming me. He's filming me. We just want our money back. Yes. Okay, um, well, we pay, they pay our utilities, so what you're asking for is something that we could never provide, and now you're saying we can't have our money back? No, I didn't say anything. He, I asked... That's what we said. That's why we're saying we said then when we'd like our money back. Okay, that's fine. I'm trying to explain to you, do you have something that shows that you live at the address? Yes, you have lots of things. You have a medical marijuana card, you've got bank statements, you've got all sorts of things. You've got lots of things that come to your address that he'll take. Like what? Like a bank statement or your medical marijuana card or anything from the government. It all is online. That's what I was trying to tell you when you're out there and you wouldn't let me tell you. That. Okay, well, what can you provide online that we have? Yes, I can. Put that on. Do you have that audience up? Let's just call it a cloud. So it's being trust, trust. Don't collect money until you return the car. That's the reason why you get a home when you get come pick up the car. That home would be a hundred dollars. And when you bring the car back, then we close out the contract. We submit for them to give us that payment, and that hundred dollars goes back to your account. That's the way that works, right? Now, being that that's the case, is we don't have control of the money that you have to pay, that's what you have to do with the car. The man look, I just didn't have the proper paperwork to actually get the car from that location, and then they'll just go ahead and refund that back to me. Okay, thank you very much. No problem.
What's going on? Joy, we just need you're really overacting for something. I'm mad because I didn't have that ID at home. Well, yeah. that is a waste of fucking time. Well, Joy, listen. Just because you don't get one play, you don't throw the fucking goddamn towel in. Let's just keep either... You forgot the wrong paperwork, okay? Let's go. But now we've wasted so much money in Ubers, and now we're not gonna get our money back for, you know, however long. Like, they hold Why it forever. Why don't we the paperwork and come back? I don't think we can do that. No, yeah, you said if we bring the paperwork, you'll rent us a car. But the... the co if we can line it all up to where you have something... Cause look, that ID matches... I can't believe I'm, I'm just so frustrated right now because I have an ID that matches. I had no idea. It's so frustrating right now, okay? I'm just frustrated. Can we please call a Uber and go home? Simple. It's gonna get a lot more complicated in Panama. Joy, it's not a big deal. We forgot the paperwork. We can get in that car another way. Joy, that's not running the day. Why are you being like this? Why are you ignoring me? I'm really upset by you, yeah, okay? Because this could have been avoided if I just brought a different ID. This is all my fault, and it's stupid. And I didn't know. I didn't know I didn't have the right ID. So you made a mistake! You didn't know, exactly. Treat yourself we don't really like have a lot of money, and we just wasted about $30, and now they're holding $50. So $80 when I don't... we got plenty of money, and we have... Because we have to go home and get a fucking different ID. No, it's, it's fine. No, it's not about going home. I mean, the thing's canceled now, I think, right? No, not until you call that number. So I can come right? Yeah, he hasn't canceled shit. It's still on there, you have your money. They're waiting for you to pick up the car. Well, do you want to come back or do Yes, what else are we gonna do? It costs us, what, $10 there and $10 back. Big fucking deal. It's going to cost us a lot more this whole move to take like $20. We're going to make a lot more mistakes than this. It's frustrating because it's just like, these are the stupidest fucking you policies, you know, of just dumb shit that don't work for Well, explain the policy to him and explain what he said so that we, you say how dumb it is. You're renting a car to a stranger that has no address. They want to verify your address. You can't verify you. You live there with one piece of document. You're renting their car. They're giving you a car. That's how they get cars stolen. There's people that give fake IDs and fake addresses. It's no big deal. You didn't know. I'm just trying to say it. Yeah, it's just frustrating. It's the rest of the time. I was really excited. And then it's just all my fault that I didn't bring the right ID because I have an ID that has the right address. That was intense. <laughs> we got so worked up, sorry about that. So what's the issue that's causing all this despair? You know, it's like we couldn't get the car, and now we have to do we'll have to do three Ubers if we want to come back for this car instead of one. How many Ubers do you normally take in a busy day? Lately, zero. Okay, you see my point, Joy. You've taken three Ubers before.
And I'm embarrassed too, we made such a big stink in there. Alright, sorry about that. Are we coming back tonight? Or what do you think? Or are we canceling this thing? What are, are, we, are we coming back? Yeah, okay. Okay. I just can't believe this. It's just so frustrating. That you made a mistake. And then to go home, get the paperwork. So this is a, do you remember how many times we had to go home from Panama, the government agency? Three days. In a, four days, because we went twice when we didn't have the dress code. Uh, this shit happens when you deal with this shit. Your IDs don't match. Okay, big deal. It's a, it's a, we live right there. This stuff happens when you travel. This, we don't know what we're doing. We, we don't rent cars every day. We don't go around doing this all day. So we find out, oh, okay, great, we go do that. Waste of time. Joy, we got fucking two months of sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> we got nothing to do but wait. So, there's no such thing as a waste of time. Or to continue being pissed off. I don't care. At yourself. No, it's all good. I'm not just gonna... Oh, good. They're open 24 hours. That's cool. Okay, cool. Uber's almost like the other oh, is, I see him. Oh no. No, I'm wrong one. I don't think anybody's in Vegas is in a good mood right now. Oh. Oh, come on, we're in the wrong spot. We're in the wrong spot. Hello, hi. Yeah, jrish.com, yeah. How's it going? How are you? Hello. Okay, hello. Yes, thank you so much. I have the right paperwork, and I didn't know that I had the wrong stuff. I didn't know I had the wrong ID, because we have like a couple of IDs, but I, can't, I didn't even think about it, because um, we've moved a couple times, and then I didn't realize it didn't match. So. Yeah, that's why we're doing this now and not tomorrow morning, before you have to move. Oh, good call. Good call. Okay, thank you. Our news, I told you this was going to happen. Something like that. I didn't know what exactly, but I said, let's do it tonight. They're not canceling our thing or anything, right? No, you gotta call the customer service. It was a... I think that's where I almost lost my shorts. That's when I lost my shorts. I, I hate this whole thing. We have this new thing. What's happening in business is there's layers of management now. That... Everything is like everyone's like renting space and no one is like oh I just take I took the booking. I don't work for budget. I'm, I'm the agent. I have the money but I'm gonna give it to them and, and you talk to them, oh I am just I'm just renting you the car. I don't actually work for budget. I'm just, you know, every, no one's really because there's like four or five different companies to make this thing happen when you only needed one. And that's why the prices are so expensive. I'm sorry I lost it too. I just felt so frustrated that I didn't bring the right thing. It could have all been a part of it if I just brought Right, but, but you see, the thing is, is, that's not the Jedi way. The Jedi is that, that we roll with the way things are. It, it, just deal with it, you know? We don't sit there and beat up people because they forgot paperwork. That's a, that's a different religion. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A very strict religion that makes people, when you don't have the right form or cross your teeth, you get punished. I'm just glad we're not going to Britain. I guess we'll just all run up there and then we'll just head right back over. Okay guys, so we are gonna go back and try attempt number two to get this rental car. I was so frustrated because I have the right ID. We have like three different IDs and then we lost some and it's just, Oh, it's so a mess, and I didn't realize I had the one that didn't match the bank accounts, and it was just so irritating. So it, we just had to waste like two extra Ubers, like three Ubers. But now I'm I'm hoping this works because he wanted 
paperwork that we don't have. We don't have um, utility bills. We don't really get any official mail here. We don't have anything that would like, we don't really get mail at all besides <laughs> we get Amazon deliveries. I think what they want is the ones where you can't just be changing the address. Um, I changed my address with, oh, with the DMV. Oh, I changed it with the UPS is what I'm thinking of. Oh, hopefully this works this time because I was so, I, I'm a little embarrassed, <laughs> but we do this kind of stuff all the time. <laughs> We get irritated that we gotta go back and apologize in a sense. Okay, this guy's almost here. He's coming in a big black suburban. No, I really hope we're driving back in a car this next time. Yeah. Oh, here's our ride. Cool, we're riding in style. We got a big old suburban. We're riding like the president. Hello, FurgeOdavage.com. How's it going? Oh. oh, I think your door's, your door's not closed, I don't think. I don't think your door is closed, or is it? I guess it is. Oh, this doesn't go through up here. Attempt number two for the budget car rental. That one's called Caribe Resort. Did you know that? That Cancun says Caribe Resort. But nervous. I hope this works this time. I really want. I just got so frustrated at myself. I was like, ah. Uh -huh. I don't see what you're talking about. Number two here. Let's see. Oh, the executive orders also call for suspending payroll taxes and student loan repayments and ask the government to look into stopping housing evictions. I thank you so much. Okay. Hope you have yours. Thank you so much. Hope you have yours now. Let me see what I got. I might have one of yours, let me see. I think you still have it. I hope I still have yours. Okay. Take two, everyone. Yeah, I still have yours. Okay. This one I need to... These ones. Okay, so we're gonna try <laughs> attempt number two here to do this. Okay. So I found my other ID, so let me see, and then I have my medical card. So hopefully between those two that have our address, that should be enough. Because I have no mail, so I ain't gonna try and move this stuff tomorrow if this doesn't work out. Okay. Maybe we'll get a different, <laughs> okay, here we go. Number two here. Take two. Oh, they hope, oh, shit, they 
No, they're not. They're 24 hours, I checked that. Okay, good. Yeah, I did yeah, check I that. How embarrassing. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> try again. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. We think I got the right the paperwork. Yes, I'm sorry about that. I, I think what? we're more in order this time. I'm oh, sorry. We were... My apologies. Yes, sir. So. I... No means disrespect. I think, man. Hey, no I lost my shit. <laughs> we were so irritated at ourselves. Is what it was. Sorry about that. Oh. Now, if it don't work out, we're just going to walk away. I'm not going to get mad, okay? I promise. I think we have what we have. We were in the, we were in the wrong. I, I was very, very rude. Right, we were, I was so mad at myself because I, I had the wrong idea. We moving, man. We moving. And we're always moving, so we have, like, different so we ideas. Lost, we lost all of our crap, and now we have to get our... The car was stolen, too. So. Yeah, car was stolen. <laughs> we had a crazy... Okay, so here's... That's my other ID. Now, that's my, my medical card. I had that one at home. I had, I grabbed the wrong one. That's why I was so irritated. I don't know what he told you. Did he tell you to go get your back? Well, well, he, he said, well, he said, he told me, I don't know what he told me. Okay. Well, he just told us, he told me what he needed for his computer. All right. Something that has that 9145 address on it, which is there. Because we don't have utilities there come there, see? So he said he can make an exception if we brought something like that. Hi, sorry about that. <laughs> Those are, I had it at home, but it was in my other wallet. I didn't know that I had the wrong one. He lost his. But see, we've moved several times, so our current address is the 9145. And then our old address was the 3820. Uh, I had it at home, so I was frustrated because we had to waste three Ubers. That's why I was frustrated. And we don't really have the money right now to waste three Ubers, so it cost us $45 to come back here. That's why I was frustrated. Oh, I know. But sorry, we got frustrated. That's why it wasn't your fault. I know. No, it's his. We can have a go under his name, but he. I, we're married. Where's your debit card? No, we're married. We only have his card. So it can be under his name. I mean, I just put it under my. It doesn't matter which name I send her. Okay. This is, I know that this is going to sound frustrating, it's going to sound like I'm trying to give you a hard time, but we're really actually not, okay? The, the, when we say that the things have to match, they really have to match. In other words, this card right here, and this address right here, these belong to him, okay? You're married, but from where I'm standing, I don't see any evidence of that, okay? And so with this now that you're bringing a completely different driver's license now, but you're going to use his card, we can't do that. But if it's a prepaid account, and this is one thing you want to know from going forward, if you're prepaying the account, you lock that account for any kind of modifications up front. So let's say if this was not prepaid, then I can just switch everything into his name because this is his card. Well, then can we just do that and cancel our other one? Yes, I can. Okay, please. And that, okay, that would be great. Because we just want to rent a car for a day. That's it. Okay, that's fine. All we're wanting, well, this is what the situation is. We're trying to move um, to Panama. We need to move our stuff to storage for one day. And that's what we've just been trying to get a car because we just, and we're, that's why 
We and have a lot of stuff. What you guys reserve for? We, we wanted just the basic whatever. We have minimal stuff. We're just moving, uh, like some boxes. Here's what I would, I would love to keep you guys as budget um, customers, all right? And going forward, what you want to do is to go onto that budget website, and whenever you make a reservation, try to jot down the terms and conditions that give you a lot of power to know what you guys can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. On that website, it will tell you certain things, like if you're using a debit card, you can only rent a full size account, <coughs> little things like that, and what, you, what you're eligible for. This does do a soft credit check, so you'll also have to pass that credit. If it does not pass that credit check, then it is completely out of our hands. So just so you guys are aware, I'm making a lot of exceptions on this just to try to get you guys going. Okay? So call that number to get your refund back. We're going to just go ahead and do this as a lockup for you. You're going to be the one. Just don't forget, you do have to do that. We will do a soft credit yeah. check. Yeah, would the, would the simple solution for us to be the uh, credit card? Use a credit card. Here's we don't want to look into trying to do that. The best thing to do when you're ever going to run a car, anywhere, because we here at this location are the only ones that actually accept debit cards. Everybody else, they don't even accept debit cards. Now, with that being said, have the funds available on your credit card. Whenever you rent the car, avoid prepaying it for, for these little reasons. We got it. But when you come back, you let them know, at least with budget, maybe for pay less, let them know, I want to change my payment method, which means, you can take your, de your debit card at that point and actually pay for the rental and that hole that we have on your credit card goes back to your credit card and it's like you've never used it. So that's the best way to do this going forward. Okay. okay. But we should look into getting a family or a couple of travel. Like those prepaid ones or whatever? Or a prepaid one I can answer. Did he say it could be prepaid? Oh, yeah. so I think we need a credit card. I'll see at the bank. I'll call the bank. Hey guys, okay, so we got the car, so let's we go. We got the car. We got the car. It was a bit of a nightmare because um, it had to be under Jerry Rich's name and like that. Uh, our licenses didn't match the, um, our current address and stuff because he had one, but then it was lost. It was just a mess, but we got it. Um, but we ended up having to cancel the reservation we had and then um, just do one here. But now our account's all out of whack. And like, <laughs> but it, I'm just glad we got it at car, but it's like all overdrawn and everything. So, But we'll figure it out. We'll run by the bank and figure it out. So I'm just thankful we got a car. So they're saying we're at C20. I've never done this before. You just go, I've only done it where they have to, oh look right here. Um, Oh, look, there we go. We got the little, yeah, look, we got the little Hyundai. So, where are the keys? Where are the keys, he said. In the car. In the car. That's crazy. Okay, this is, oh, how fun. Oh, Avis. We're looking for budget. Oh. Wait, is it? Yeah, no. It's budget. You're right. Twenty. Okay. Wow, we almost went to the wrong car then. <laughs> C. Oh, over there, over there. Oh no, that says pay less. Budget. Oh, budget and pay less is the same. Okay. Budget, pay less. Wait. F. C. Oh, this way. C. Oh, this is a little more confusing than I thought. Oh, over there. Okay, their budget. Okay. This way. <laughs> here we go. Here we are. Down here. Let's see what vehicle we got this way. This is very interesting. I've never done this like this. Wow, good job, Jerry Rich, getting the car. Whew. What a whirlwind. C20. How does this? A. B. C. 
see. Maybe that was it. That had to have been it. Because they just parked in a different spot. Let's go check that again. Like yeah, that had to be it. And it seemed like that was our car. He said a Hyundai. He said a Hyundai. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Sorry. Oh yeah, here we go. We got the ad. We got the license plate right here. We got the license plate. I'll check. I think that was it. I think it's over there. We thought it was budget, but is it? I parked in Avis, maybe. But if it says C20. Look at this one. Yeah, C20. Yeah. It's oh, it is the, over it's here. Gonna, it's gonna be the gray Yaris. Oh, how do we miss this? Well, I'm glad you stopped us. We're gonna go back over that way. Thanks. Thank you. I always ask for the, the gray yard. Is that as cool as a Hyundai? Yeah. That, oh, this little guy. Wait, no. Wait, what is he talking about? The Yaris. You see this? Is Why am I not seeing this? Do you see a C20? This car is it? I thought you said green. I said gray. I thought I said gray. Oh, I like this little guy. Yeah, okay, here we go. What are you feeling? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> is this it? This is it. Oh, I'm so happy it's the first time getting to drive a car in probably like almost three years now. I'm really excited. Now I'm really happy. What a whirlwind. Oh, it's just, it was really stressful because like the count got overdrawn. No, we didn't. Oh. No, but you know, I think he wanted to see my ID showing that we actually lived there because your ID didn't match. I think once he saw my ID and he, he kind of was like, okay, these two are fucking, yeah, he's like, these two are loons. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so freaking excited right now to be inside a vehicle. So where are like the keys? I don't know. How does it work? You have to go up to the front. I don't understand. Well that, but I mean oh, you need door. keys. No, that's the door. no, you need keys. Like I mean, what do we do when we get home? I don't know. Someone could steal the car. Oh, maybe you gotta go to the front desk here. What is this for? I don't understand. Maybe you need to go up to them and get the key at that little fast break up there. Close the door, see if it starts. But then how would you, if someone could just get in the car and steal it? You must have a fob. They give you a fob? No. Put your thing if you can start the car. See if you can start it. And then drive up there and ask them, Troy. Oh yeah, it says the key is missing. Okay. Yeah, go get the key from the front. These are little things we're learning. They are not nice to tourists. Well, what's he figuring out? Oh, excuse, excuse me. Go back to that budget thing over there. Excuse me. You get the key at the desk up here. I don't understand how this works. I don't understand this. This is so... This is not, like, they were not help, like... This thing or that one? That, that one. I think we walked by right by. The first, there was a little office. Okay. That was there. Okay. I really do not understand this. I've rented cars before, but I've never done it like this. Normally, they walk you out to the car well, but they have and they do an in cars back then. That's all electronic. It's all computerized. Wait, but you still need a key. Right, but it's all computerized. Oh no, he's gonna do the walk around. That's what he does. Right. Oh. Where are the keys? I'm confused. The keys are in the car in the dashboard. Where? The keys of the vehicle are in the dashboard. Check the counter in the dashboard. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
It's in the dashboard. This is just, you're just supposed to know that? <laughs> this should be pretty easy once you figure it out, John. I can't believe how difficult this is. It's like, very simple if we knew that all this stuff. We knew to have the right paperwork. I know, but do, could, they could, did they tell us this? Did we not hear? Or did they not tell us? I don't know. I didn't hear him say that it was keys were in the dashboard or whatever. This is the weirdest experience. I'm so glad we're documenting this. Because I had no idea this was going to be this difficult. And I get, yeah, if you knew all these things, then great. Next time, it'd be very easy. But imagine someone their first time coming from the airport. You know, come, Well, they might not have as many issues as us, I guess. But let's see. So this little guy, I really like him. If we could figure out where the keys are. Oh, there they are. Is that them? Ah, there they are. There they are. Mystery solved. Jeez Louise. I am not the best at this um, renting a car thing. This has just been, I've just been, what do you call it? Um, a novice. Well, everything, yeah, amateurish. Yeah, everything. I've been, man. I can't even believe we got a car with our attitude. I can't believe, like no, but he, I don't know why, but he was drawn to like still let us because I don't know with our, Jedi. well, more just like with our determination and we came back. Like he, he says, this still doesn't, isn't what I asked for. That's what he said? Yeah. Okay, like, that doesn't match this, hers doesn't match yours, and this, it's like, but fine, I'll make some exceptions. Well, what he thought is like, because I said, well, I lost mine, but, He's like, how did you produce this? And that's what he thought it was like. But I did lose one oh, and I had one. Oh, he just of mine. Yeah, because well, I kind of lied to him because we didn't want him to come back. So I said, well, oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't have one. But I did have one. It just was, I didn't want him to come all the way back. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get this out right. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Car ready here. How oh, let's get. Oh, can we? No, we can't have music. Yeah, no music from the. Let's yeah. get oh, it feels good. With AC. I uh, just don't want you to talk. To me. Okay, here we go. We got a car. After all that, oh gosh, it's just been what a whirlwind that was. Exit this way. Oh my gosh, I've been doing a car in like three years. Oh my, oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. How do you get pull up the window without going down window? Price contract against my dad. Oh. What for is this? There's mass. I can't hear a darn thing. And then the AC is blowing. Can we turn this down a tad yeah, bit? Yeah, please do. I mean, this is really just blowing my shorts off. Okay. I can't even. Okay. Here we go. Now, do I have lights on? Are they on auto? It appears that they're on. You used to always drop us around. I know. This is great. Oh man, this is cool. Oh, I'm excited to be oh, here. Oh man, we go to Pam. We gotta buy a car eventually, man. Oh yeah, we could get. I like, mean, I know you're saying you don't want a car, but you know what? 
with the car we can do so much more. What is beeping at me? Oh, is it my seatbelt? Oh, yeah, this. That was very uh, not cool if you were a uh, tourist. I mean, it wasn't, it was very confusing. Um, I mean, unless I'm just retarded and maybe, you know, because I've only rented a car maybe twice in my life. But I know it's the whole COVID thing. They're trying to make it be like arm's length, but it really, really felt weird. I'm glad this guy made an exception. I'm surprised he did. We were such so nutballs, but. Um, Very strange how he made several exceptions for us. I don't think you can tell we're just chilling. Uh, they they put a hold of three hundred on the card. I so. saw that. And then I need to get the other forty five dollars back as well. But when I, I'm hoping, I don't know, because I hope it just comes back. But then they were saying something like there, there's a cancellation fee, but um, this would not. But, but when you call, you get nothing. You get those stupid automated things, and you don't get a person. And then it. And then it like messes up too because it's a really bad one. You got a mask on and stuff, so I'll try it at home. But I hope we get our. But oh well, at least we got this car. And it turned out to be very expensive, but it was. I think it's gonna make a really good video. Maybe you should leave in all of the meltdown stuff because that actually would probably make this pretty entertaining because I really did have a meltdown. I was like, what the fuck? Oh my gosh, I'm really happy I'm driving though. You know what? You should actually record me first so we have everything. But, um, oh my gosh. This is amazing. I'm driving down the strip. I'm, I'm so happy to have a little vehicle for a day. Oh, yeah. I mean, those guys, man, they must be like, they didn't know what to think about us. Obviously, they knew we were legit, though. I don't know. He thought, I don't think I made up my ID. He was like thinking I my ID was fake because I said I didn't have it. I was like, well, I had it, but it cost us like forty five dollars to go get it. But the medical one now looks fake. So <laughs> that was just a mess to get the little vehicle. Um, it's not a convenient thing because the, the other thing is they charge three hundred to your card, which is not convenient for us because we usually don't have that kind of money in our account. And that's the one thing that's really a bummer about. They're like, yeah, only $40, $45 for the car, but they're going to charge your account $300 a hold, and that's the bummer. But look at this guy. He, there's, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, um, Mr. Miyagi. He's buff. Look at that guy. Carrying all that stuff all the time. It's tough living out here. And so if you don't have a vehicle, we did it for now, what, like three years? Yay. Three years now, we didn't have a vehicle. So excited. Yeah. This is really fun. But you know what? It's not, like, it's fun because we don't have a car. I could see where I already would not want a car, though. You know what I mean? Like... It's like great because we are going to have it, but it's like I kind of love not having a car. It kind of changes everything. Like everything becomes, well, for one thing, so much easier. Like if we had a car, we just, everything would just pop everywhere. You know what I mean? It's like the way we do it, kind of everything's a little bit more of a challenge. You know what I mean? I mean, there are times that I would love to just have a car, but. Other times I'm like, I enjoy my walking and stuff and being a little bit more one with nature, not cruising around 100 miles an hour all day long. Yeah, very, very different in Panama. Look how yeah. wide out and spacious it is. I know. And look how empty it is. Man, sorry for my meltdown at the... Oh, sorry for... I, I told that guy he should quit his job. I didn't have the ID, but I did have... But it was like... The thing is, I had one, and I was kicking myself, but I told him I didn't have it because I thought that he would let us slide. But then when he didn't let us slide, it seemed like I was lying, but I wasn't really lying because I, I didn't... I mean, it was at home. We have... I have, like, two IDs. 
I did have three, I think. I mean, I don't know. It, it's a mess because we moved a couple times and then we lost some and stuff. But um, it just seemed like we were lying, but it really was the truth. <laughs> Ever, you know? I think that's how complicated our life is. And they really didn't like us filming. But this is probably why we got the car, though. I think so. Like, he didn't think we're gonna steal it because we're sitting here filming everything. We, we, you know, what I mean, it was kind of like, I don't know. It wasn't like your average like. Do people really steal rental cars? That was a question. I know. I'm like, well, how far are you gonna get on a stolen rental car? I mean, wouldn't that be pretty quick for them? I mean, it's got probably that security system where they know the OnStar thing kind of thing where they know exactly where you're at. Don't they have that in their things? I would think. If they don't, then that's kind of silly. Put an iPhone in it. Yeah, I mean, this day and age, you would think. Also, I mean, you can only get so far on a stolen car because they know the plates and stuff. Like, it's like, at this day and I don't know how... I mean, okay, what are you going to do? You're going to get it, maybe get, maybe you're going to take the car and go somewhere, but then you got to bail on it pretty soon. I mean, it's just kind of, it don't make sense. I don't know. It was a very interesting experience. I just got so frustrated about myself. Well, I was frustrated because I had the wrong ID. And then you were like, oh, you're a medical guy. I was like, I didn't bring that. Because what it was is I didn't bring my big purse that my wallet has. When I bring the small purse, I don't bring my wallet. The wallet's big for the big purse. So I just bring the couple of things I need. And I thought I brought what I needed. But I have two IDs. Uh, I think I even have three. Because we. what happened is in order to get my medical cards, you have to have the right address um, your the address that they send your medical card has to be the address you live so like you have to update it if you move because they'll send it to you have to update your driver's license because um, they'll send it to the one on your driver's license so um, I did that twice so that's why I have three IDs but then I had the wrong one and then Jedi Rich lost one so you said you lost it, and then I kind of just went along with what you said. But then I didn't technically lose mine, so that's well, why. Oh, is open now. Oh, wait, what's going on? Food and beverages. Hold on, was there something that happened? I don't know. Did they like a? Like, get into a different phase that we're not aware of. I think if they serve food, they can serve their meal. Yeah, but they were closed. Remember? They were for a minute. Yeah. And they were all mad about it. Yeah, they're getting Yeah, which they should be. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, I have to really quick run by. Um, or do you want me to drop you off? No, we're going to bed. Yeah. Hey everyone, Jai Joy here. So. Today is Wednesday now, a couple days after well, we got the car on Monday. Um, we rented the car on Monday, um, or maybe it was Sunday night. Is that when it was? Monday? Anyways. And, and from budget. And it was quite a nightmare, the process, to get the car. As you guys see, I had a little meltdown because I was so frustrated because I brought the wrong ID. We have a couple IDs because we've moved a couple times. So when I get my um, medical marijuana card, they make you your... You have to they'll only send it to the address that's on your driver's license so I've gotten new IDs but so then I don't like I have one in each purse and um, they needed the one that matched the uh, address for the card and I didn't think about it and we got there and then um, we were gonna have to do like two ubers because like two more ubers which it was $15 to get there $15 to go get my ID $15 to come back so it was like ended up being like $45 to get a $45 card car well <clears throat> when we came back so we ended up doing that because I was also so irritated with myself for forgetting the wrong ID then we come back and the guy doesn't want to give it to us either because I don't have a bank account it, everything is under Jai Rich's name but I had signed up online for it to be under my name just because I was going to be the one driving and um 
And then they said, well, no, we can't have, you, you can't have it be where you, you have, um, where, because Jai Rich lost, he doesn't have an ID that has the, it, our current address. His ID has an old address. But I have an ID with the current address. But since my <laughs> was not the same as the credit card, it was like all this stupid stuff. And we're like, we're married. You see, we're here. We got all these IDs. I mean, we have like, by this point, we have like three or four IDs we've brought with different addresses, but they're all valid. You know, they haven't expired. We're like, come on, dude. And um, he's all, well, so first I had ordered it online, but I spent $45, and they charged me $45. Well, then he said, well, the only thing I could do is I could put it in his name, and then that we could probably let it slide, but I can't do that with your online order that I can't change. So I'm like, well, okay, well then fine, what can we do, can we get our money back? And they were like, oh, no, you gotta call this number to get your money back, we're like, fine, just do it. So we did a whole new thing. So then we have this like $45 penny out there. So I tried to call the number twice now. You don't get anything, you get the automated thing where you go through all these prompts, and then by the end of it, they like hang up on you, you know, cause like nothing applies to what I need. Most of the prompts are like to set up reservations or like, you know, it's like nothing, like every, I've gone through it twice now, and. I, you can't get an operator, um, and so I'm gonna try again. But as of now, they still have like $45 out there that we did not get a car for. Um, they like it's just like extra. We got the car for the other amount, and it should be canceled. But they kept the money, and so the guy just said, "Oh, that's all. We can't do anything about it. You just gotta call that number." And it's like it's so annoying because it's always like, "Oh, we take your money, but then when you need it back, go call this." 1-800 number and they'll deal with it and then you'll get it back in like months half the time too it's a stupid if at all well now if we can't get a hold of the of someone Jerry was just thinking about just telling the bank to cancel that but then we don't like to do that you know but I don't know what to do because um they took our $45 and we didn't get the car for that amount like that transaction is canceled but they're not refunding the money like they just took it and they're saying oh you gotta call that number to get them to return your money but when I call there's the prompts don't give me anything there's no person there's no operator and all the prompts are like do you want a new reservation do you have a reservation I have a car da, da, da. like I follow the prompts and I end up nowhere <laughs> so I keep trying I'm gonna try again um, maybe maybe it's the time of day I'm calling because I don't know where they are you know where their call center is so I'll try like a different time of day but um, it's really frustrating so we're really happy we were able to get the car, um, but it was not a fun process. And if we were tourists, it would be what a nightmare because they were very rude. Um, they just made it very difficult considering, like, you could tell we, I mean, we're not going to steal their car. Like, for one thing, I think most of the cars have some sort of protection thing. Like, I think we're, like, don't they have, like, that OnStar thing now where you can track the cars? I don't think people are stealing rental cars. And he could, we expressed to him what we needed the car for, that we needed to move our stuff, that we're moving to Panama. We told him the whole thing. And he just was being such a dick. And it was like, and at the end of the day, he was able to do it. So it's like, when they say, oh, I can't do that, can't do that. Well, you did. So you were able to do it. So you were just kind of being a dick. And he cost us... $45 in the Uber, extra in the Ubers, because he made us go get the other ID, even though that wasn't even necessary at the end of the day, um, because we ended up doing it. Like, it was like the whole thing, and I'm like, so I got really irritated because I was mad at myself for bringing the wrong ID, but also irritated that the budget car guys weren't budging. <laughs> Budget wasn't budging. Um, on just like being reasonable, um, you know, there, there's policies and there's rules, but uh, people always. Are, there's always room for, um, you know, that kind of like, not breaking the rules, but allowing things that I know in business, because I've done that a lot when I worked in things where you let it slide for certain people, you know, that's just how it goes. Like, uh, you talk to, we were talking to the manager, and they have that ability, and then some people are just such hard asses about things. It's just kind of stupid, because you really got to evaluate the situation. You have rules in business, but then you also uh, uh, evaluate what's the best for your customers and for the business, you know what I mean? But you don't want to be like pissing off customers a lot of times with silly policies um, that you made up yourself. You know what I mean? Like this one was your credit card had to match the same address as your driver's license, which I get because they want to know where you live. But at the end of the day, like, I don't know how 
that would really make a difference this day and age with like I mean it's not like they pound on your door for collections they send notices or they send emails or whatever you know I mean it's just kind of like it just seemed unnecessary because a lot of people like that might be traveling might have moved and didn't get a new driver's license that matches their credit card. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, people update their bank account information, but they don't always go to DMV and pay the... He's like, oh, go pay $17 and get... I was like, no, I have a driver's license. I just forgot it because I have a couple. <laughs> but I've already done that. I did do that because I had to do that for um, my medical card. They made me do that. But it's like... It's just kind of like... I feel like... Vegas is getting so annoying to the tourists. Like, everything is just harder than it needs to be. And everyone's so strict on the rules, where it's like, this is supposed to be, like, the fun place, and maybe bend the rules a little bit, and then maybe you'll have more tourists. So that's that. Please subscribe and follow us um, to Panama on our journey. Like I'm still a day old, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a rolly or seco. Step on deck your neck or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Shadows, 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 shadows. Open and Jedi. Black Jedi. Back to Jedi. Black 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 J